Okay, so in this video, we're gonna demonstrate how to measure active range of motion for ankle inversion and eversion using a goniometer, as well as manual muscle testing for ankle inversion and eversion. So uh, we are gonna measure inversion and eversion in the frontal plane. Both have a firm end feel. The normal value for inversion is zero to 35 degrees and for eversion is zero to 15 degrees. So the patient position is sitting on a table and you're on a high-low, so I can raise her up a little bit so that I don't have to bend over as much and have poor body mechanics. I'm just gonna bring you up as high as it'll go. Uh, okay, it goes more forward than up. Okay, so, oh, let's talk about compensation. So if someone is limited in eversion, you might see hip internal rotation. If someone's limited in inversion, you might see hip external rotation. So try not to be so focused on what's going down at here that you miss any hip compensation that could be happening. All right, so the alignment of the fulcrum is the same for inversion and eversion. The, the alignment of the fulcrum, the alignment of the goniometer. So the fulcrum is going to go anteriorly, midway between the two malleoli. So I'm palpating medial and lateral malleolus. I come around anteriorly and right in the center is where I'm gonna put the fulcrum. And then the stationary arm goes up to tibial tuberosity, so along that tibial crest. And then I'm gonna put two fingers on here so that I don't create a new pivot point and so that all the work I just did in setting up my landmarks isn't lost. And then I'm gonna to say to the patient, I'm gonna have you bring your toes in towards your other foot and the moving arm goes to the second MTP joint. So in the hand, it's the third knuckle, right? Third MCP, but in the toe, it's the second MTP. So right there to the joint. Doesn't matter where the toe's going. I'm just bringing it to the, to the MTP joint. Okay, I lost my zero. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is an interesting goni. So you have about 30 degrees of inversion. And then I'm gonna have you bring your foot out toward the clock to your right. And same setup. And she's got about 12 degrees of eversion. Okay, now we're going to do MMT. So we'll start with inversion. I'm gonna have you sideline, but you could also have a patient sitting on a wooden chair, not a rolling stool. And if they can get into this position, then when they invert, that's also against gravity. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have you lie on your side. So inversion, so we're gonna have you lie on your, what side is that? Your right side. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't get you a pillow. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you back down. Okay, so when she's lying on her, well, we're testing the, what are we testing? The right leg, she's lying on her right side. Now when she inverts, that's gonna be against gravity. So we always do against gravity for our grade three. And so I'm going, because I'm gonna be pushing the foot back down where it came from, stabilization goes in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna stabilize under the, uh, the lateral aspect of the fibula at the distal end, just proximal to the ankle joint. And I'm gonna say, and her, neck, her leg is down, so she's nice and supported up here. I'm gonna have you bring your foot up toward the ceiling, and I'm gonna try to push you back down. Don't let me do it. My hand is on like this first ray, and it doesn't cross the MTP joint, right? So there's the MTP joint. I have to make sure that I'm on this side of it. So don't let me push you down. Stay strong, stay strong. There's her four and her five. Um, I'm gonna have you roll over onto your back for a moment. So. In our notes, it says that gravity eliminated can either be short sitting or supine. Technically, short sitting isn't gravity eliminated and she's already lying down, so I'm gonna use the supine option. Um, and so I'm gonna just prop her up a little bit so that she doesn't have to work against the friction of her foot on the table. And I'm gonna say, can you bring this foot in toward the other one? And if she can do that, she's earned her one. And if she can't, I'm gonna palpate posterior tibialis tendon between medial malleolus and navicular, which is at the height of the, the arch of the foot. So right in here, my fingers are between those two landmarks and I would give her the same cue. Can you bring your foot in toward the other one? And if she can't do it, but I see or feel anything happening in here, we would, we would give her a one. Oh, so I said that incorrectly a moment ago. So if she can, go ahead and actually move your foot. So if she can move that foot, that's a two. I said one. Now I'm palpating if she doesn't move, but I feel something, that's a one. Nothing, nothing is a zero. And then for eversion, I'm gonna have you roll over onto your left side, please. Okay, 
And so she can keep this knee bent so she doesn't feel like she's gonna like roll over off of the bed. Um, and this knee is, this thigh and knee is supported. And so again, I'm gonna, when she everts against gravity, I'm gonna try to push her foot back down to where it came from. So my stabiliza stabilization's on the opposite side. So I'm on the medial tibia, um, just proximal to the ankle joint. All right, so I'm gonna have you bring this pinky toe up toward the ceiling, great, I'm gonna try to push you down, don't let me do it. Now I'm on the fifth ray, and again, I'm not crossing the MTP joints. Stay strong, stay strong, and there's her four and her five. So same thing, in our notes it says for gravity eliminated, they can go into short sitting or supine. Let's do supine because it's much closer to gravity eliminated than short sitting. I'm going to um, prop her up a little bit so that the friction of the table doesn't um, limit her. And I'm gonna say, can you just bring this foot out toward the side toward me? So if she can do that, that's her two. And if she can't, then I need to palpate fibularis longus or peroneal, peroneus longus, whichever, if you're doing the old school name or the current name. So now I'm going to the proximal third, just proximal, just distal to the fibular head. So I'm gonna palpate there. All right, can you try that again? Bring your foot out toward me if you can. And if she can't do it, but I see or feel anything up here in the, in the fibularis muscles, we would give it a one and nothing is a zero.